What is happening, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Ooh, 12 minutes to go. Oh, man. Nothing like taking time off work for a three-minute trailer <laughs> at 9 a.m., right? Oh, boy. So, uh... I got... Well, this is obviously going to be, be a short stream. It's only a, a three-minute long trailer. Um, we'll, we'll probably rewind the trailer a few times to, to take... Take a couple looks at it. But I have, I have some high hopes, some high hopes. So uh, for starters, I'm, I'm guessing late April, late April, Or May. I'm gonna pause alerts. Well, actually, I'll, I'll pause them at the. I'll pause them when we get to the start. Mark gifting 50 subs. Jesus. Um, I've seen a couple people. They're like, no, it's gonna be. It's gonna come out this month. No, there's no way. Um, looking at at FromSoft's typically release schedule. Typically release schedule. Their typical release schedule. They usually have about two months between trailers. So. Uh, at at a, a minimum, I think we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing stuff maybe late April. Hopefully after that. Hopefully after that. Uh, personally, I would love for this to be like June. It's just looking at at the upcoming release schedules for games. Obviously March. No, please God, no March. March. We already have Dragon Stalker Two. We have Rise of the Ronin. I don't want to have to skip those games for Shadow of the Earth Tree. April, we have Stellar Blade, which I'm, I'm excited for. Not nearly as excited as the other two titles I mentioned. But if this release is on top of Stellar Blade, so be it. Goodbye. Uh, Coomer game. May, we have Hellblade 2. It should be fun, but also something I'm like, it's going to be good. I'm not that worried about it. And then June and July, we got nothing. So, if they could release this in June or July, <laughs> that would be perfect. That would be fantastic. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. My only thing is uh, not not March, not not March. I also had a couple of people that are like, "Is this what you went out of town for?" No, it is not. I did not. This was just as much of a surprise for me as it was for y'all. Uh, this was this was me last night working on a review, and then all of a sudden I'm like, "Oh, there's a Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer dropping." Okay, I need to take off thirty minutes from work in the morning. Like I'm supposed to, I actually have a work meeting like starting at the top of the hour, and I'm like, "I'm sorry, I will be late. I have leave I have to take." Because I was not, I was not missing this. Otherwise, like my first thought was like, I'm gonna have to wait till lunch, and then I was like, no, I'm not. This is the main job. This, this, this is the the real job over the the day job. This took priority. I mean, but to be fair, this is this is the other job's part time now. This is full time. I know it's just like gamer hours, but like, yeah, no, this YouTube is the main job now. I haven't done a super morning stream in a while. Ugh. Imagine your boss turning on YouTube to watch it, also taking off to see you do react video. <laughs> I mean, my, my boss knows that, that YouTube is, is my priority. We've we've had had the talk where they're like, you know, do you want to do you want to, you know, take a supervisory position or do anything else? And I'm like, no, I'm good. And they're like, 
anything? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good right where I am in my little part-time bucket. That's perfect. And yes, I still work for the VA. I'm putting uh, 30 minutes of leave so we could watch this. They aren't going to shadow drop it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think they're going to shadow drop it either. Like I said, I think, I think uh, late April, late April or May is, is uh, I think, the most probable. I would love for it to be out in June, though, just because the summer, there's like, the thing is, the summer is usually a dead time for games. There's nothing else that really happens in the summer. So if this releases in like June or July, Let's go, man. That is that is typically those are months of like drought in gaming. And to have DLC for Elden Ring released then would be like, here we go. Like I would have June completely busy. I would have July completely busy with getting the walkthrough ready. That would be fantastic. Nothing. There's nothing around there that I got to worry about. That would be great. Uh, in terms of expectations for the DLC, personally, I would like to see more stuff with Frenzy. I'd like Frenzy to also affect enemies. Uh, I would like to see more stuff with Blood Flame. I'd like to see more stuff with Scarlet Rot. I feel like those kind of got the, the short end of the stick a little bit. Like Frenzy, Frenzy Weapons, Blood Flame Spells... Bleed, I think I don't. We had enough, enough. We had enough bleed. Some death stuff, yeah. Death magic also kind of got the, the short end of the stick. I would like to see more stuff related to that as well. Make sure is this is this in 4K? Yeah, baby, 4K volumes all the way up. Cool. Black Flame. I need to give Black Flame a another chance in the DLC. I did not I did not give Black Flame the attention it really deserves. And the thing is Black Flame can be good, but especially on a new game playthrough, it typically gets outscaled because enemies don't have enough health to justify the HP percentage base. Black Flame Dragon's Breath. I mean, right now, we, we actually did a poll a while back for what build I should use for the Elden Ring DLC, and the vote was for a, a dragon build. So I have I have my my dragon build um, right now. Let me see. Do I even have the game installed? Let me see. Pretty sure I do still. I don't. Let me try and reinstall Elden Ring real fast while this is going on. And I can show y'all the build that I have planned for the DLC. Be a fun way to, to wrap up the stream. How big of a drop is it? I'm I'm guessing we're gonna see DLC that's comparable to like three zones worth in the game. Like imagine, you know, Limgrave, Liernia, Kaled, and their attached underground portions. That's I'm thinking something of that size for the DLC. Because they have had they have had a while. They had two years. So I'm guessing you know, probably three legacy dungeons, I'm guessing a bunch of mini dungeons, some large open world stuff. Obviously, there's going to be some type of crazy boss. It's going to be like, we're going to fight like Millennia pre-rot and she's at max strength or something. I 
must just be an announcement about the mobile game. I mean, it says Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, so that's very unlikely. That is very unlikely. This is this is the DLC. I don't know if I don't know if we're actually gonna fight Mikola. I I have a feeling Mikola is gonna be like the friendly NPC on this. Kind of how like we like you know Ronnie. Ronnie is our our NPC that we we talk to. I feel like that's gonna be Mikola here. I feel like we're gonna be focused on engaging with Mikola, and they're gonna be like you know. Tarnished from another time. You must go. Maybe like maybe we interact with them and then at the very, very, very end, they're like a surprise boss or something. But I don't see Mikola being like a, a primary antagonist or or boss as we go through this. Yeah, they're gonna be in a closer role to like Ronnie, I think. At least that's the vibe I get, you know, seeing Mikola on the horse and whatnot, I get I get the impression like, oh, this is this is a friend. He's been in slumber. I don't think he's going to be in a slumber anymore. I, I think my theory is that we're going to interact with the cocoon and Lord of Blood. And I think that's going to send us back into like Mikella's mind back in time. Something like that. I mean, there's two. Either we're going back in time, and Shadow of the Erd Tree means like you know before the the Erd Tree was up, or maybe it's Shadow of the Erd Tree, as in like you know frenzy ending, the the shadow or the the Erd Tree is dying, and we're just living in the shadow of it. I don't know, man. It's it's hype. It, it's hype. Whatever it is. Thirty seconds. 30 seconds. I didn't even know this was coming. They didn't send any like press emails from self. Just we're going to drop a trailer tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Let me let me turn the volume up a little bit. Peggy 16. Lord of Blood. Pure it's the egg. It's definitely the, the egg. Worlds love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Egg theory confirmed, boys. Let's go. There's nothing more terrifying. It does look like it's dying, like Frenzy Flame. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. Hot dungeon. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Oh, that looks fun. Head eater. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft? Who oh, is that? That was Black Flame. Yo, martial arts! Big box! You too are keen to know. Rapid Fire Rebelist! Just what kind of Nicola is doing here. Gator dog? No, it's like a hippo. Oh my god. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. 
I don't know who that red thing is, but that's gonna be a Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. Is that Nicola? I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Maybe that's maybe that is Mikola, because Mikola isn't Mikola and uh Isn't Mikola like a twin? Maybe the red hair? Or is this Mikola? June 21st! That is perfect! Let's go! Oh man. Mesmer the Impaler. Hold on. Shadow of the Earth Tree, June 21st. <laughs> Statue of Mesmer the Impaler. All right, so it's not, that's not Mikola. I wonder who Mesmer the Impaler is. I have a feeling this is gonna be, this is gonna be Millennia 2.0. This is gonna be Millennia 2.0 for sure. Um, let me just, I'm going to scan through this. There's some stuff I want to, we're going to do the a breakdown, breakdown. All right. So try clean the hearts of men. All right. Egg 100%. We're entering the DLC through the egg. Why, why else would they open it with a shot of the egg? We touch the hand. We go into the DLC. I am vindicated. That's that's definitely it. That is honest that there's no way that's not going to be it. So I'm guessing we're going into we're going into to Mikola's dream. Now this is the one thing that's throwing me off is looking at this. This looks kind of like the Erd tree after the frenzy flame destroys it. Like it looks like that that looks like frenzy flame exploding out of it or it could be sap of some type i mean it kind of looks like like my uh my healy juice looks like estus coming out the tree um maybe maybe a little bit of death blight death blight coming out that could be it too but so maybe this is just is it all happening in a dream is this just what's happening inside Mikola's dream in that forsaken place blood must spill Blood of your fellows. And who is this? This is like young Renala or something? They are too faithful. That looks like Carrion Manor. This looks cool, Pot Dungeon. Bro, can we talk about how you know you know there's gonna be never think. some bullshit where we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to go through this dungeon and like roll through those pots to get to the bottom and get some loot. It's gonna be absolute hell. Just looking at it, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna have to roll. We're gonna have to roll through those pots. They were never safe. That's definitely a legacy dungeon. This dude looks spicy. It's like fire giant before he was fire giant almost. It's like just a. It's like a giant thing holding the the flame. I wonder if this has to do with the the flame that the uh, that the giants protected. It kind of looks like the you know, the, the crucible or whatever that the flame was in, maybe that comes to life or some shit. They are too faithful. Yeah, big, big fire giant vibes, obviously. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. This thing, I can already tell I'm going to hate it. But anything like that, you probably, there's probably like elemental, like you can hit it with fire or something. This thing, so, all right, looking at the mouth, for a second, my first impression was this reminded me of the, the Horolu thing. But it looks like it's more its own thing, and that, that looks like Death Blight Breath. So maybe this isn't related to Horolu. It also summons big things of lightning. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one? Got a snake. He's saying something about mother. I wonder, did like millennia have like a bastard son? 
Because the hair, yo, the red hair. I mean, it wouldn't make sense that it's, it's a bastard because Millennia would have been a mother. Hang on a second. There's like a ladybug thing. Like this, this dude looks, let me, let me, let me pause it and get a better, a better pause of his face. Truly so there's death, there's death flame. There's a snake for a tail. The thing is that hair, that's, that's millennia's hair. So either millennia has a son or this dude is somehow related to, you think it's Rikor's son? Yeah, I know his name is Mesmer. We saw that on the statue. Radigan? You think this is Radigan pre, pre shit went down? Rikert actually knocked up Millennia, and this dude is the baby. No, <laughs> he looks like, we can already tell this is going to be Millennia 2.0, though. Bereft of light. This spell looks badass. Look at the AOE on that. Just popping up all over. The martial art build? I'm probably just going to do a martial art build for the DLC. That looks wild. Big, big cauldrons for explosion. Avalon 2.0, that thing looks wild. I really hope they add, I want to, I hope they add scaling for ranged weapons. I still think that's one of the, that's one of the big faults of Elden Ring is, is ranged weapons don't have proper scaling. Just what kind Mikkeler is doing here. So hang on, wait, go back. What did he say? Listen to what he said. I'm just writing down what he's saying exactly. I presume you too are keen to know just what kind Mikkeler is doing. So I think that was two people talking. The first dude said, Mother, without truly lordship self in one so beripped light. So I think that has something to do with us just being like a regular dude. But then it says, I presume you, due to Ken, to just know what, something about what Michaela is doing here. I don't think subtitles are, are going to work. We can, we can try. So who is mother in this case? Could it be like a, an incest baby? Mikola Millennia had a baby and it's this dude in the dream? Or maybe he's somehow related because there was the whole thing about Lord of Blood trying to impregnate Mikola. God, the martial art weapon looks so much fun. I presume you too are keen to know just what kind Mikkeler is doing. That thing I can already tell is gonna suck to fight. It's like a hippo gator. 
Though stripped of the grace of gold, shall all meet death in the embrace of Lesmus' flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. 100% egg. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. God, this looks, this is so hype. That's Mikola. Oh, man. Yeah, it's going to be wild. It's going to be so wild. Um, well, I got to wrap up in a second, but before we do, let me, uh, I'll boot up the game. So, to be honest, for the DLC, the build's probably going to evolve as we play. I, I see the build evolving because I'm going to want to try out new stuff that's in the DLC, obviously. But I'll at least I want to show y'all the, the build people voted for because I never I never actually got to record this build. I had it planned and the recording just never never happened. this dude so I think this is what we're gonna start the DLC with and then it's gonna get um, it'll get swapped at one point so it has like regalia of echo aids it's like a faith arcane build rivers of blood occult uchi ripple crescent halberd rivers of blood doesn't really get used on this we have double reduvia incantation and attack power boost and then the uh, the spell loadout was what made this fun. This build was mainly about dragons. So Plasi Ruin, Decay, Pure Magic Damage Breath, Dragon Maw, Grail's War, Blood Flame, and then Bestial Sling. So it was a very, you know, this is this is Dragon Man. With the dragon themed armor and everything else. Very, very uh, edgy type build. This is your co-op build you did with Tox? No, that was a that was a different. My my initial plan for the let's play was going to be the the faith guy. I like my my faith build is probably my favorite right now just cuz that builds badass. Which I might still go back and do do this dude. I don't know. Maybe use the the dragon one to to stream. This build is just dope. Guardian Flame, Sword Spear, Gravel Stone, Banished Knight, and then uh, Lightning Spear, Frozen, Ancient Dragons, Plassey, Golden Vow, Bestial Sling, Hone Bolt, Lightning Spear. This is just the fashion on this build is peak. It's hard to it's hard to tie. I love the fashion on this build so much. But every build I have is based around uh, 150. So like I think any of them will be be good for the DLC. Anyway, we're going to wrap things up here. Um, we're looking at June. That is that is perfect. That is right when things uh, get slow. That is a, a fantastic time. I'm looking forward to it. I have no other games on deck then. It's going to be great. Um, either way, I got to get back to the work day. So I'm going to wrap things up for now. June is on deck, ladies and gentlemen. June, we have DLC. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Maybe I'll catch you later. I'm trying to get a review done for a upcoming game. Um, but streams, normal streams will be back soon. I promise. So, adios.